So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock that's been cut in half the long way. So it ends up being four and a quarter by 11. And we're going to score it at five and a half. So we'll score it in the middle. And then you can go ahead and fold that. So we're going to want to remove the top half of the front. So we're going to slide it in so that the score line is right um, on the cut mark. And then we are going to cut into it up to two and an eighth. Then we're going to turn this, this direction. Let me pull this down here so you can see it better. So we're going to put this on two and an eighth. Then we are going to cut from, from the end up to the center so that we're removing this top half. So we want to stop at, at the score line. So then we have a card front that's just a little flapper and then our full back. So then we can start decorating. So we have a four by five and a quarter piece of any kind of um, board look designer paper. This one is from, the, from a Stampin' Up! The Heart and Home pattern. Um, there are several different papers out there that you can find with, the, um, with boards. It seems pretty popular right now. If you wanted, if you wanted to have a white piece on the bottom for your signature, you can. And, and what I did is I did the boards one direction on the barn door and the other direction on the inside of the barn. This piece is two by five and a quarter. And that's our barn door. Then we're going to stamp some little animals that are going to hang over the side. And we've got our barn animals. I'm using the um, Peekaboo Farm, which is a Stampin' Up! set. And there are actually five different animals. So you have kind of some options. we're going to go ahead and color them in with um, alcohol markers or any kind of markers that you like. So I've got those, those colored here already. And I like to start with my alcohol markers. I color in the lightest color first on the whole thing and then I go in and I take a darker color and outline and then go back with the light color and blend it in. I'm sure most of you have probably worked with the alcohol markers. If you haven't, play around with a couple first. And then let me cut these out and I will come back in just a minute. And I am back. Now if you have a stamp set that has matching dies, that would be even more fun. But this one doesn't and I just love these little animals. So then we're going to take some dimensionals and leave a little bit of room at the bottom because you're going to want to um, kind of leave it so that the bottom can can flip to kind of hook the um, the barn door on it. So then you're going to decide. Let's pull the card in here, and the horse is kind of the tallest, so I think we'll put him in the middle, and we'll go like this. And this, put them onto the, the, basically your inside, from the inside of the barn. You're going to adhere them inside the barn, but have their little feet kind of hanging over the edge so it holds the barn door closed. Like they're hanging their little feet over the edge. Anyways, now for the greeting, I've actually taken and cut another piece of this 
and then a little piece of, of gray cardstock. And you can kind of use this backer to match whatever color your wood grain is. You know, if it's if it's a brown color, use a brown. So then if you have deckle scissors, you could go ahead and cut this with a deckle scissors. I actually used a deckle die, and I don't have one that's the exact size that I wanted. So I literally ran it through the die cutter four times to get my, my deckled edge. So let's stamp our greeting. And let's see if we can figure out where it's going to show up best on this board. This one has some kind of dark lines in it. So you might want to try to find a board that has doesn't have that dark line, like if you caught a piece of it in here. I wasn't being quite careful enough. And then we will stick on our dimensionals. And then we'll add some little nails. So we've got these fun rustic metallic uh, dots that to me look like nails. And yeah, let's take the little ones. There's two sizes on these, so just put these here so it'll look like our sign is nailed onto the barn door. Go ahead and add that. And there is our cute barn door card. And it'll open. And like I said, if you want, you can do a white greeting here. It kind of depends on what your, um, your boards look like. And it'll just close by tucking under its feet. And there we go. Hope you have fun making this card. Thanks for stopping by at the roost.